45 up with Charlie Papa and today we're going to work on the uh, thumper build. This is my uh, 24 inch bull barrel AR that I'm building. Um, starting here with a soda arms lower. And I'm going to add a few little upgrades to this. So I'm not going to go through, you know, actually how putting this stuff together. Um, there's hundreds of uh, videos out there on how to put an AR together. Just, you know, feature a few of the the uh, custom touches that I'm going to put on here. Um, I'm going to put on a the extended magazine catch on this one and if I don't like it I, I can take it off but we're gonna I've got this laying around I thought I'd uh, give it a try and uh, we're gonna put that on here. The other thing I'm also going to do is we're gonna put a larger magazine release button on this one. You know this is the the standard button here um, gives you a little bit more purchase um, releasing the magazine so we're going to put this on there give it a try but you know this is kind of the thumper build and uh, let's go ahead and, and get some of this stuff put together well that uh, that really extends that button out there too uh, Boy, you're not going to miss that one. It works. It really, uh, really sticks out quite a bit further than I, I was anticipating. But, uh, hey, we'll give it a try. Okay, we've got some electrician's tape on here. So that uh, we can put this extended bolt release and bolt catch on. Um, this is what the... What the the normal one looks like so we've got something that's a little bit more extended a little bigger you know I've got this laying around like I said if I don't like these parts I can take them off but I thought I'd I'd give some of this stuff a try now this little bridge here uh, is causing some issue with trying to get something in here so I can hold everything together while I pound the pin in so what I found here is a a plastic dart tip uh, that I'm going to feed in here and that will serve to hold everything together when I uh, go to put it put it together. We've got our spring and our detent here. Again, something else is going to stick on a little far on this rifle, but this is a 24 inch. It's going to be more of a bench rifle, more of a varmint rifle. So, you know, some of the stuff sticking out is not going to be as problematic for me. We'll say one thing, um, I think this is going to be one of those that's going to be kind of tough to uh, slide that, that pin out the other direction if I decide I don't like, uh, don't like it. But uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But there we go. There's your magazine or your bolt catch and release. Okay, now to install the stock. And this we're going to put an A2 stock on this one. So you've got uh, your adapter here, because um, this is an A1 buffer tube. Put your adapter in. We'll do that part last. We'll go ahead and get this buffer tube on. And I'm going to add a little grease to the thread here. Not that you have to, but I think it'll help it uh, go on there a little easier.
that's on there pretty darn tight it's not going anywhere go ahead and uh, you know I torque this down just a little bit see if I can get any more cork on it nope that's as far as that's gonna go Bring in and the buffer. Now we'll make sure we've got our adapter in the stock. Slide that on. Take our screw in the back here. There we go. We got our A2 stock on. Now A2 stocks, yeah, that's pretty simple to to put on. Um, there's no indexing the the buffer tube. You just tighten it in till it's tight. Um, unlike the uh, carbine stocks where you have to kind of index that to your detent there, your little buffer catch. But there we go. We got a lower for our thumper rifle. Something interesting on uh, this rifle or this lower anyway your low rear pin uh, the detent or the the spring and detent for that instead of coming back here and is put on when you put on the stock it's actually the sprung down run down here so that you've got to put the uh, the spring and detent in coming straight up uh, where the uh, when you put on the hand grip so this hand grip is holding the spring for the det spring and detent in for your rear pin and for the safety just something kind of interesting and unique to this particular lower um, we also have a hole in here uh, if i wanted to i could uh, take this off and reduce any slop that the upper is going to have and i may order one of those screws i don't have one at the moment but uh, there's your uh, lower for the thumper build all right well we're ready to uh, do the upper here and i wanted to go over this uh, handguard I got from Gorilla Manufacturing. Uh, really liking it. Liking it seems to be uh, a quality handguard. Um, comes with the barrel nut. Um, very traditional barrel nut, but instead of going on this way, it goes on this way. Um, they do have, um, once you get it timed and everything, it's got ears here that, that go into these little grooves here that. Uh, anti-rotational pins so we're gonna get this together here get the barrel on here now I wanted to um, do a little bit of a treatment to this barrel but I'm just not gonna get to it at the moment uh, maybe later I'll be able to get all the stuff I need for it um, wanted to try something a little different with the barrel um, but uh, I just haven't been able to find the, the right materials to do what I want to do so let's go ahead and we'll get this this put together. Okay, let's uh, fit this handguard onto this barrel. That slid on really nice, slowly. Pinch her down. All right. Anti-rotational tabs on that. It's not going to spin. Everything looks good and aligned. Pretty, pretty decent. Well, there it is. A rifle that I like to call Thumper. Uh, it's been a very enjoyable day uh, putting this rifle together. I've been uh, collecting parts for this for quite some time now. 
and uh, I, next uh, next week hopefully we'll have some time get it out shoot it put it through its paces but uh, I'm real happy with the uh, results so far the uh, Gorilla Manufacturing handguard I really like uh, I think I paid about 60 bucks for that handguard 17 inch handguard made here in the United States um, built on a stoa soda or state-of-the-art arms out of Minnesota lower that I picked up for right around 40 bucks um, a2 stock that I picked up at a gun show for $50 uh, the Pentex scope I've had laying around um, I think I paid right around $70 for that scope it's a really nice scope I've had it in on a couple rifles um, this one's probably going to be the the best rifle I have put the scope on but uh, it is really nice um, the hand grip I got on uh, Amazon or not on Amazon and eBay um, upper and the bull barrel are both from classic firearms um, 24 inch stainless steel bull barrel uh, ought to be really fun to shoot uh, really reach out there is a little top heavy uh, the bipod I have on it right now is from the $700 high point of my son's um, it's just there for right now I plan on getting a uh, little bit better bipod for it uh, this is just uh, kind of a temporary deal on that. This 45 out Charlie Papa channel and the rifle I call Thumper. And I am out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.